Howdy folks, Yuzu Adagio here to tell you about a new project that I'm getting ready to launch I'm pretty excited about. It is called All Star Wrestling, probably, unless I think up a better name in the next couple of days. And it is going to be a tabletop role-playing pro wrestling project. I'm going to be playing a game called Face to the Mat, uh, made by Play Games, that's P-L-A-A-Y. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the game offline and then I'm going to type up what happens, I'm going to condense them into some notes, and then I'm going to present them to you like I was running some sort of like sports show, like a sports center, or like those old wrestling shows in the 90s that was just some dweeb talking in the command center <laughs> and playing clips and stuff. I won't have any clips, it won't be that fancy, but you know. I've been a wrestling fan off and on since I was a little kid. I grew up on WCW in the 90s. I kind of spaced out for a little bit, missed a good chunk of the Attitude Era. Came back in like the mid 2000s to WWE. All the like, the whole era of Cena demolishing everybody all the time. Uh, I followed WWE for a while. I started to get into some indie stuff. And I've really branched out kind of from there. I haven't watched a whole lot of anything since about the pandemic. WWE kind of lost my interest. Uh, AEW, I don't have a good means of watching. I got really into like Chikara and Lucha Underground and both of them went belly up for uh, various reasons. <clears throat> but I like a wide variety of wrestling and I think that will be reflected in this project. Uh, but I think my first and greatest true love is still like mid-90s, barely logical WCW shenanigans. So that's kind of the, that will be the main flavor, but I'm looking for kind of a melting pot in presentation. The roster is going to be kind of a grab bag of different people I like throughout the years, throughout the feds. You'll see more of the roster in action eventually, but they'll all be actual wrestlers. There'll be some old WCW guys, there'll be some WWF, WWE guys. I've got some Joshi in there. I've got some indie people in there. Uh, it should be it should be a fun little grab rack of people. We are going to have gender divisions to start out with. Uh, unless I come up with something better, we're going to go with dumb puns, and most of the men are going to fight in an open division, so they over the open world title. And the women uh, will generally, along with anybody else who might show up, will mostly be competing in a separate uh, No Boys Allowed title, so they can go for the NBA title. I can't name things, so you're getting puns instead. Too bad. Anyway, I'll go more into the detail and like the nitty gritty of how the wrestling fed works and stuff like that once the project actually launches, but you'll get... I will simulate four shows, four kind of quote-unquote TV shows, and then a bigger every fifth show will be a big pay-per-view where I'll give it a little bit more info, and get, get a little bit more detail, a little bit more hype, you know. Um, but the standard show is going to be presented like a recap, so it'll be like the show already happened, and I am the person kind of giving the commentary and summarizing things. I'll try to make it... I'll try to make it interesting and snappy, but I was originally going to live stream it, but I figured nobody wants to sit around while I roll a bunch of dice and look up a bunch of charts and flip through a bunch of stuff. So I'm kind of trying to edit it down, make it a little quicker, a little more snappy, a little more, uh, a little more exciting for y'all. I like the slow pace, but it's not good streaming content, you know? The fun thing about this is a lot of what happens is going to be determined by randomization. You know, there, there's a special deck of cards that you use for face to the mat. There are uh, dice rolls, there are numbers, there are stats, there are all, all that kind of thing. Um, I, I get to make some decisions, but not a lot of decisions, and I like it that way. I like not knowing what's going to happen myself. I will take the... I will give myself right to veto some of the sillier things that might happen. I don't plan on using that very often, but if I give the game completely free reign, sometimes it gets a little out of control, even for my taste. And I have a very, uh, I have a very high tolerance for silliness, but I'm trying to put out something that'll be entertaining to everybody else as well. So I reserve the right to fudge things a little bit offline, but I probably won't need to very often. 
Uh, there's a lot of homebrew and house rules and stuff like that that I'm going to apply for this project. I have a lot of my own kind of house rules and homebrew and stuff, and I'm using this big suite of things uh, made by a guy online. His name is True King Nate. So even a lot of the stuff he made is going to help me put the shows together. So like I don't even necessarily have that much of a hand in deciding what matches get booked or what the next pay-per-view is going to be like. A lot of that stuff's going to be left up to uh, fate, the whims of fate as well. And I think that's going to be fun. But like I said, I'm not above fudging a dice roll here and there. If it's going to be something particularly silly or not fun or whatever like that. So anyway, I'm very excited to launch that. I'm hoping to get like a couple episodes out every month. I'm not going to put myself on a strict schedule or make any promises or anything like that. It'll just be kind of a side project, you know? If I have extra time left over after I've done my streams for the week, I'll work on getting a video put together. And if I don't, I won't. They'll, it'll just kind of go up when it gets up, when it's ready to go up. Uh, which, like I said, shooting for an average of a couple, three episodes a month. I'd like to do more than that. Might be less than that sometimes. We'll see what happens. I'm looking very forward to it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. But uh, I hope you'll stick around and see uh, what I come up with. I'm very excited to put that out for you. And I hope you all will enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.